Hey everybody, Randy with Little Buck LS here again. And this week we're gonna continue on with our series on uh, free tuning tools like PCM Hammer and Tuner Pro. And we're gonna talk about uh, bin files and XDF files and why you need them and where to find them. So if you wanna learn about that, stick around. We'll get right into it. Alright guys, so last week we uh, talked about PCM Hammer and I showed you how to uh, install PCM Hammer and connect it to your PCM and pull out the bin file. And we're going to get into uh, using Tuner Pro to look at and modify that bin file and remove VATS and remove the uh, DTC codes for the Rear 2 sensors and CATS. But before we get into that, um, we need to talk about bin files and XDF files. So the bin file is basically that raw data file that it's basically a copy of the, the flash chip that's on your PCM. And you're basically using PCM Hammer to um, copy that file from your PCM flash chip to your computer. And so if you were to open it with like a hex hex editor, it would make no sense. It would be just an, a bunch of letters and numbers and you wouldn't know what they mean. So in order to make that meaningful to a human, you need a XDF file. And that's basically like a lookup that looks at this address and interprets, okay, this is like your um, map sensor reading, or this is, you know, a cell on your VE table. And for this manifold pressure and this RPM, um, you should be injecting this amount of fuel. So, so um, tuning with these free tools is not nearly as simple or as well supported as using HP tuners where you've basically got a one-stop shop where you've got one suite of software that can read your uh, tune, um, make changes to it, do data logging. Um, in order to do that with the free tools, you've basically got to use PCM Hammer or LS Droid to read the bin file out of your PCM. And then you've got to use Tuner Pro or Universal Patcher to make changes to that tune. And if you want to do data logging, that gets into a whole different, like you need PCM Logger or you can, I've seen some guys do it with Tuner Pro. I'm going to experiment with that in a future video. But basically, instead of just using HP tuners, you've got to use at least two and possibly three or four tools to uh, do the same thing as HP tuners. So another issue with these free tools, and some of you guys mentioned this in the comments of my last video, is the lack of documentation and support. Like a lot of these tools um, have been made by guys that have day jobs and are developing these tools in their spare time. So it's not a big commercial venture like HP Tuners. So they basically don't have the time or the resources to make a full set of documentation and um, you know, have a customer support line where you can email or call or message and uh, get tech support. So that's definitely one of the drawbacks of these free tools is uh, lack of documentation and a lack of support. Like a lot of them are kind of experimental in nature. So you've got to do some research and uh, know where to find some of these files and what to do if you can't find them. But I'm going to help you out with that. All right, guys, so like I said, just to give you an example here, this is what a bin file would look like if you uh, just open it up on your computer with a hex editor or whatever. It would basically mean nothing to you. So the reason we need that XDF file is so Tuner Pro can interpret that data and put it into a nice looking table like this, uh, similar to what we are familiar to seeing in HP Tuners. So another one of the drawbacks with this uh, free software being kind of experimental is not every bin file has an XDF uh, file that's available for it. Like for all of these XDFs, basically someone has taken the time to map all that out and figure out what piece of data is in each address and uh, make that XDF file that Tuner Pro can use so you can make changes to that tune. And so not every operating system is supported. So 
first step we need to do is take that file that we downloaded in the last video with PCM Hammer, the bin file from our PCM. Oops, kicking the tripod here. But. So we're gonna take that bin file. Actually, I'll just do a quick review. Um, and the first thing we need to check is uh, get the operating system number and then do a search and find if we can uh, find an XDF for that bin file because that's gonna determine our next steps. Because if you can't find a valid XDF file for that bin, there's not much point going any further. You're not gonna be able to do much tuning to it. So in that case, we'd have to rewrite a whole operating system to our PCM, but we're not gonna cover that in this video. We'll get into that in a future video, but for now, we'll just do a quick review on, uh, I'm just gonna hook up to that uh, PCM that we hooked up to last time. Uh, with PCM Hammer and we're going to read that operating system number and then we're going to go look for an XDF file for it. All right, so we're going to open up PCM Hammer with the folder that it's in. Scroll down to this PCM Hammer application. Open that file up. And it's connected to our device. So we're just gonna click read properties. And right there is the operating system ID. 12208322 is the bin file or the operating system that we need to find an XDF for. So we're gonna make a, a note of that number. 12208322. And I'll show you now where to look for XDF files for that bin. So if we open up our Google. And what's the best way? It's, there's a couple repositories on GitHub. And NSFW is the guy who created PCM Hammer. So let's Google that. Uh, let's add PCM Hammer. There we go, that's the guy we're looking for. So if we go look in the wiki here, and go down on the side here, bin and XDF repositories, these are the first two places I'll look for an XDF file. And here it kind of goes into a bit of a description like I just talked about. Um, bin file, like I said, it's basically a copy of that flash chip, um, but doesn't make any sense to a human. And the XDF file is basically a file that somebody has made to interpret what data is in what address and make it tunable using Tuner Pro. So. And like I said, if we can't find an XDF for that operating system, um, Tuner Pro isn't much use to it, much use to us. So first place we're gonna look, there's two repositories here. Uh, Snowman002 made one and Board Truck Owner made one. So we're gonna look in this first one. Uh, we'll scroll down. We've got a P01 uh, PCM. So that's from 99 to 02 in the trucks. And if we had, I've got a newer one on the shelf there behind me, that is a P59. That is from 03 to uh, mid-year 07. So like the 07 classic trucks still have the P59. And then the late year 07 goes to the, the Gen 4 stuff. So um, we're gonna look in the P01 folder. We're gonna look for software. And right there is the operating system we're looking for, 12208322. So we're gonna look in there. And if you read down below here, so it tells you if the file uh, has an alpha in it, the XDF is started, but is preliminary. If it's labeled RC1, might be suitable for use, but still being worked on. And 
one that's labeled release is, or may be suitable for use, may not be complete. But basically, the further down you go, the more complete they get. So I see there's one labeled 12208322 release. So that should be the latest and greatest one. So that's the one we're gonna download. If you look in these like unvetted ones, there's a few there, but probably may or may not work the way we wanted it to. So we'll go back, we'll download this one. So you click on it and then you have to click this view raw and then you can see it downloading there. Should be in my downloads folder. Um, let's go back and look at the other repository. Just for curiosity's sake, we're looking for an XDF file. Like I said, it's a PO1 PCM. And right there is a 12208322 for uh, in that repository as well. So that would be another option. All right, guys, that is all about bin and XDF files and why you need them and where you can find them. Next time we'll get into actually using T Tuner Pro to uh, get rid of your VATs and uh, get rid of those DTC codes for your rear O2 sensors and fix your uh, checksums and write the file back to your PCM using PCM Hammer. So hope this stuff is helpful. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now.